Hello there, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of an R2-D2 40th anniversary from the Empire Strikes Back Target exclusive. I actually have two of them here. And both of them have different paint jobs. So we're going to take a look at the difference of the two and um, see what we think. I have taken this out of box. I had to take a quick feel, quick look. Uh, it was only for a couple seconds. It was pretty awesome. Um, I had to make a video. This is a really awesome pop. So, let's take a look at the box. I wish that they would take and do a different type of box for the anniversary movie pop. Like they're doing with Batman and Marvel. I think that would be really cool. They're trying to get the artwork on the side, but really not the same. So, here's the back. Here's the other pops. I do not have anything else from this series. I do... I, I'm eventually going to pick up uh, Luke Skywalker and Yoda and Han Solo and Carbonite. Uh, for sure, the Carbonite. Uh, I think that was... was a long time coming for that pop. Here is this. Okay. So, I got two of them. Hoping they both will be in amazing condition from Target.com. They're not. This one's got some damage to the box. Um, what was it at? Right here. And then back here, it's all smashed in. I'm going to be returning these two. I ordered two more. Um, there's no damage. But I think because they're different and I have them, why not make a video? So, and it's cool because they actually look like two different, eh, maybe not two different droids, but we'll definitely get these out of box here in a second and take a look at them. Okay, we got them out of box. There's some detail to this pop. Um, I'm looking at the one in my hand of the other one that you're looking at. I'm going to describe what I think. Um, the front of this thing is really, really cool. I love... It's really light. It doesn't weigh anything. I, I, I wish the base wasn't on these. Um, I'm kind of over the base. Just my opinion, though. How do you guys feel about that? Um, let me know. Because, uh... I wish I could... I, I want to remove it, to be honest with you. I don't like it. I, I would like to be able to put this on something. I'm actually looking at it, and... It's in there. It looks like it's, it's sitting on there by pegs. So it might be removable. But I think this thing must be badass. It was just sitting on the shelf, just like that, not with the, this stupid thing on there. Okay, so let's take a look at this. No more rambling. <clears throat> I'm going to turn it slowly. And to the side here. Now, my side and your side are two different. They look completely different. Um, this is what I'm talking about. So, darker dirt different areas, lighter dirt in other areas. It makes it actually kind of a uniquely cool pop to the point that I'm going to, when I get my next two, <clears throat> hopefully I want just one nice box. One nice box. So I'm hoping that I'll get at least one nice box when I order my next two and I can look at all four of them and I can decide which ones I want to return I might want to keep all four if they're completely different it might be really cool to have four different pops that are the same pop because it's all paints different <clears throat> so it looks like this one that you were looking at it's got a lot more dirt to it here's the back once again really cool 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 detail I don't care for the bobblehead part I think it's annoying also I wish that they would get rid of the bobbleheads. 
with the uh, marble and R2-D2. I wouldn't mind having other pops as bobbleheads. Uh, which is actually weird because I noticed that not... I mean, there's just certain ones that they should make a bobblehead and they don't. And then certain ones like this one, but they should not, in my opinion. Just like Star Wars, should not be a bobblehead. So, here's the other side of it. Once again, awesome detail. Let's take a closer look. Get closer. Rotating base. It's weird how this base is actually moving the helmets on both of them. <clears throat> when you look at this one all the way around, put up the next one. We can look at that one all the way around. And, um,. A closer look. There's also the top. Like I said, this is just detail on this. It's just amazing. I uh, really, really like that. I mean, on the helmet. Such cool paint. You're going to see in the next one how it's not going to be super similar. So, like right through here on this one, it's got all that paint on there and everything. Or I guess called airbrush, whatever you want to call that. Let's tell the next one. It's like this one's got that on there. This one does not. It's clean right there. The front of it looks more clean. So when you guys are buying this, it might if you find it in the store, if you're able to, you might Look at the box and then look at the pop itself because this is one of those ones where you might find a really cool, nasty, dirty one or you might want it really clean. See down back here in the back, that's where also this one got the griminess to it. Now out of these two, I honestly don't know which one I would want to keep. They're both pretty cool. I was planning on keeping both of them. We'll take one in a box and leave one in box. The little YouTuber I watch, he's been doing that and I thought about it with this one. I'm like, certain ones I'm going to start buying two of. I mean, I could trade them off eventually or uh, sell them. <clears throat> I did that with a Thor, uh, classic Thor. I bought two of those and now they're worth like 35 bucks, 40 bucks almost. I'm going to put one of them online and get some extra money and put that money towards something else. So, side by side. Just right there. Boom. Crazy. It's right there. Look at the front and how clean that one looks. Pretty cool. So, here it is. Here's the box. I also just want to show you guys. There's also a back paper to it. It's like stars. It's a pretty cool pop. You can get this at Target. It is available as of today. I looked earlier this morning. I guess that would be about 12 hours ago. I'll just say yesterday. It's Saturday, um, May 16th at 12.04 p.m. at this very moment. So yesterday... Uh, I looked it up and it was still available. Um, I would recommend it. This is a pretty cool pop for anybody. If you just have an R2-D2 fan, this is a really, really cool pop. And I would definitely recommend it. Very, very well done to Funko. Very, very cool. Um, <clears throat> definitely buy it. I would, I would even pay 20 bucks for this pop. I think it's that cool. In my opinion, this might even be the best. Hmm, maybe the best droid pop out there. I wouldn't say best Star Wars pop, but there's a couple others that are pretty cool. And I haven't seen all of them in person, so can't say that. Till next time.